Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and we're taking a quick look at Royale Rising. A quick little battle royale, top down, three quarter perspective battle royale game from Gameloft. It's sort of in pre release, so I've been playing it for a couple of days and I'm quite enjoying it. So, uh, whenever you enter a match and do well, you get a chest. So, I got one at the ready here, so let's check out what's in it. As you get chest, it sort of oh, you get cards that go towards guns and and other items that will eventually level up once you collect enough. Go through here, color coded system. So blues are sort of regulars. Uh, purples are rares and golds are epic. Get some coins, which, like I said, it's pre-release, so don't have anything to spend them on right now. Yeah, but we'll collect all that. And it just runs off. Uh, and again, uh, I've gotten normal crates, which I believe are red, and then the first place crates which are gold that offer a little bit more stuff uh, and these ones are guaranteed three rare and two epic but take three hours to unlock but hey we got time so start it up and unlock now for some premium currency but I've never needed to, to do that uh, we'll take a look quick look at the gear here they don't there's not a lot uh, spread shot dual SMGs minigun Tesla cannon, laser rifle, a little smattering of weapons you can have, and then you have um, other equipment like, say, a teleporter, a shield, or cloak, cloaking tool. Uh, and so let's enter a battle and see what's what. So you got a joystick to control and some buttons on the right hand side which will open up as you pick up uh, weapons and equipment. Uh, some jump pads in the lobby. But eventually it'll tell you to move to the center and that's sort of where you're dropping in. So think of this as the lobby and the plane if you're playing like PUBG or Fortnite for example. Then timer ticks down. I like this spot, and boom, you're on the map and in the game. Get away from my box. Already got a laser rifle. Laser rifle's an epic weapon. It's probably one of the better ones in the game because Two kills. I never really get kills that quickly. And yeah, we'll go do all this. But each weapon has sort of like a little super move uh, for the laser rifle and the dual SMGs. It's like this beam cannon. We'll trade up my teleporter for a cloaking. And then you also have these rails to grind on that just take you throughout the map pretty quickly. Just get ourselves. Eventually, the EMP field will go, and then the arena size will sort of go down like it does in most or other Battle Royale games. Uh, but the thing with this one is pretty quick uh, about 10, about five minutes actually, I should say, for a match, as opposed to the half an hour that you would get if you were playing say player unknown battlegrounds or fortnite unless you were in like an arcade match that would sort of drastically reduce the uh, the timer for you this 
gonna go back up to the rail system get ourselves to a new part of the map before it uh, collapses in So as you see the bombs go off, um, as you play and if you die, you're actually still in the game, sort of as a ghost character. Uh, and then you can do stuff like provide assistance to allies through, uh, allies through uh, health kits or throwing bombs and obstacles for other people. Aim weapon is awfully overpowered, but <laughs> whether they'll keep that in the game or not is another question. Oh, here comes the zone. There will be only 25 players as opposed to the normal 100 you would normally get for other battle royale games, uh, but that's that's fine. It keeps things sort of quick. Uh, more. Circle's getting tiny now, so let's see if we can't finish things off. one. We are down to the last two. Can't hit the outside. And victory for me! At the end of the victory screen you're given a chest depending on its rarity, based on your placing. But you can only open one chest at a time, so since we have one chest already in process, you'll just sit on the stoop. Uh, you're only able to get four chests at a time, so like I said, not that hard to sort of get gear and, and get chests and, and level up. Um, he said this is pre-release. I got it on the Google Play Store. I don't know if the uh, Apple App Store has sort of the same thing going on, but if they do, um, give it a download and check it out while we enter another match here. Maybe, maybe I'll just throw this one to uh, give you guys an idea of what the ghost mode is like. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. I'll do some jump pads. Boing. Play around in the lobby until it gets down to the final seconds and then figure out where we're gonna go. Let's pick another The orbs you collect will sort of get you better stats, whether it's damage, health, or agility. Uh -oh. I still don't have a weapon, so I should really fix that. Oh. Two gold chests. Arg. Come on.
Okay. Like I said, we'll see how damaging the zone is while uh, seeing if we can get into ghost mode. Not very damaging quite yet. Maybe because it's still still fairly early in the match. Got 18 people left to go. So we entered ghost mode, so we're still in the match. Little crosshairs on the bottom to so see where you're. And it gives you a little mission like track target, so let's see if we can find Selwyn. I'm not sure if he wants us to kill Selwyn or. But you're still able to get kills, so... Okay, maybe Selwyn may not be a real player? I don't know, it's hard to determine... have a limited amount of energy in order to spam your ghost attacks with. And we're still swimming around, seeing stuff to track rumors. So yeah, just a regular little red chest if you're not first place. So we'll open up that little guy when it comes time. You also have customization for your character, uh, head, body, and legs. Uh, sort of like what I had going here. I'm not sure what the difference is if you're given like... rare or uh, epic clothes. Uh, so far no real difference other than cosmetic. Uh, I sort of like what I had going on there, so we'll keep it as such. And again, we'll just enter a new match. Another match, we won't throw this one. You guys get the idea of what Ghost Mode is like. It's a neat idea to keep players in the game while it, the match is still going on. Uh, it sort of goes with like the sci-fi theme that they have going here. I also like the fact that it is like a top-down-ish perspective. Keeps things fairly easy, so anyone can just sort of pop into a match and get going. Another gold crate. And we got oh another another Tesla. Tesla's another epic weapon. Not sure if I like it over the laser cannon. Nope. Oh. Someone left a cloak here, so we'll pick that up. Oh, 
I think it's a good idea to pick up orbs along the way as well, just to sort of make sure your character is growing as the match progresses. Come on, there we go. I'll go with the spread shot. I'm not too keen on that as a weapon. But, you know, if you like covering a wide area. No, we'll keep spread for a minute just to give you guys an idea of weapon variety. Uh, shield, though, I will take that. Shield, I find, is one of the better items in the game based on the three that you have. Someone dropped me a health pack, so I'll pick that up. I'll go for the minigun. Trying to get me with bombs, it's not gonna work. Back on. Come on. Getting intense here. The one thing I'm not too sure of is the fact that it's uh, someone had the Tesla gun, that's why they're tracking me. Don't have any jumps. Jumps are limited. Go, go, go. Don't use the minigun all that often. So, not very good with it. Stay away, stay away. <laughs> Imagine someone got stuck in the zone. Uh, but that was a quick look at Royale Rising. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a like or subscribe if you do. Uh, and check out the game. Uh, like I said, it's free to play. It's in pre-release, so... I don't know how much of what I've covered will stick when the game fully releases, but uh, it'll be nice to check out once it does. Uh, this has been Shin Virtuality. Like always, game on, have fun, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.